Okay, so she's literally gonna age up. Oh my goodness. Hi everyone. Welcome back to Melissa Key Place. This is my talker. It helps me speak. Uh, yeah, like just like Mel said, welcome back. Today is episode 8, and um, we have a lot of exciting things to happen this episode. Now, if you haven't watched episode 7, I highly recommend go back and watch it. Um, it was literally crazy. It was amazing. So fun to film. A lot of things happened. It's definitely a longer one, but please watch it. It was amazing. Also, like and subscribe. As always, we need baby names. So, yeah. But if you... So yeah, so go back and watch that if you haven't because we're going to do a little bit of spoilers. So in the last episode, we got pregnant off of this dude, Howard Larson, as you can see, we're pregnant. Howard Larson. So we're asking him to leave right now because while we weren't filming, he smashed their playhouse. Like, just got all angry all of a sudden and smashed their playhouse. Now, I think it's probably because we asked him to leave. But honestly... I think he should have had a better reaction to that. Like, just annoying. So we're asking him to leave right now. Maybe it's because we broke up with him or something. So yeah. But today is a special episode because... Um, because... Uh, <laughs> let's let's have Mel say it. <laughs> yep, so <laughs> that's just like what Mel said. Today we are having a birthday party. So, I'm going to let her ask him to leave, but I'm going to show you, so we have some party decorations up, because today we are, it's, I think it's tomorrow, but it's, like, at night right now on Friday night, but tomorrow, Saturday, is Amanda's birthday, and she's going to age up into a kid, and this is going to be our first kid in yeah. The Sims 4, and I'm going to say that for every birthday that Amanda has, I don't care, <laughs> because she's our first kid. Um... Oh, she's stinky. But yeah, where's Amanda right now, actually? <gasps> so it's really exciting to me because mm. she is going... Oh, she's sleeping. That's good. Mm. So yeah, we're going to need to change around the house a little bit. We're going to need to give Amanda a bed. Like a little, like an actual kid bed. And we're probably going to have to change around. Uh, maybe have her in the corner. I don't know. But we're going to need to change it around so that... Yeah. Um... <laughs> So that she can do her homework and stuff. Because we're going to need her to be an A student. And then we can age her up. So, um, I don't know if you noticed in the last episode. We haven't been doing subtitles for Mel anymore. Because Mel feels like um, we don't do subtitles for me. So, we're not going to do subtitles for her. Because I think that her talker is actually probably more articulate than I am. You can understand it better. <laughs> because I talk fast. <laughs> Mel's laughing at me. It's fine. I'm fine. But yeah. See, yeah. Mel's agreeing. So, we're not going to do subtitles anymore because that's just Mel's choice. It's obviously up to her and stuff. But, um, yeah, see, Mel's agreeing again. <laughs> um, Mel has been using her accent a lot better lately. So, I think you'll see her being able to interact a bit more in this episode because her accent has been easier. It recently got adjusted. So, that's why. But, um, yeah. So, we need to put her to bed. How are... She's good with that. Okay, so she needs to go to bed, though. So we're gonna put to bed. So yeah, so tomorrow we're gonna do her birthday party. I think it starts at, let me see. Tell, tell them about the birthday party. <laughs> so it starts tomorrow at, um, at one. So we're gonna, tomorrow morning, we're gonna bake a cake, have lots of fun, and it's gonna be a good time. We're gonna, I wonder what she's going to look like when she's yeah. all aged up. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, perfect. We're going to put her to bed. And then I think we, we need to do a little bit more work because we have about 6,000 right now. But, yes. yeah. Yes. Sorry, yes. Don't, you, don't need to, you don't need to say sorry. Don't worry. Um, yeah. I think we're going to do one of the paintings, though, because those are the easiest and you can do a little bit less with them large classic painting Yours. or her hygiene's down but i mean she again is a light sleeper that's one of her traits so her energy is really low i mean it's really high all the time oh 
I don't, Alex Frazier apparently is just calling me, but I don't really care. Ooh, she's feeling confident. So you know what that means, I think? Uh-oh. Oh, the stuff. Dang it. Mm. I hate when that happens. Okay. Mel's telling me to tell you all about the baby counter. That's probably up here for you guys. Um, so, yes, the baby counter is three. And that's because we found out, according to the, I think, official Army of rules, Bridget is a vampire. So that, a vampire baby, counts for two. So originally I was like, let's not have babies with vamp. Yeah, Mel's saying yes. Let's not have babies with vampires. But now that I realize it counts for two, I'm a little bit more, um... Do not grab serving of that. Do not eat that. Okay, thank God. I think she's just cleaning it up. Uh, but do not want her to eat the spoiled food. She'll get sick. Yeah. 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 Okay, perfect. Um. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Bingo. Mel's telling me that I did the, that I said the right thing. So yeah. So every vampire baby counts as two. So technically, now that we have um amanda that's was one and bridget now that's three so and then we have another baby on the way so that's gonna be four pretty soon which is good um so yeah so now i think we are gonna she's hungry yep good job um let's have a quick meal let's just have a like um Let's have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Bed. Easy enough. Bedroom. Do you want her to go to sleep tonight? I think we should. Also, we have this now, which will make us feel flirty when we're at home, because we went on that one really good date with Howard Larson last episode. Again, last episode was absolutely crazy. Go watch it. If you already watched it, watch it again. Literally, I think me and Mel's favorite video that we've ever <laughs> filmed. It was so good. Um, but yeah. So this will enable our emotional aura. I mean, oh, it's, we just enabled emotional aura, excuse me. So then, when we're in here, it'll make us feel a bit more flirty. Yeah. See? Romantic decor is making us feel flirty, and we're flirty and confident. Should we talk to someone? Bedroom, bathroom. Does she need to go to the bathroom? Does any of them need to go to the bathroom? Uh-oh, Amanda's hunger's way down. Oh, no. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a quick meal, and then I'm going to wake her up, and she can have it. Because we don't want her to get really hungry. Yes, that's what I need to do. Um, cook. I'm going to do mac and cheese. Just a single oh. serving for her. This is my talker. It helps me sleep. Yep. Bedroom, bathroom, yes, <laughs> Mel, tell Mel, helps me because she notices. Um, she notices their, their needs better than I do. So we need to have her... Wake up and eat this. So we have two angelic kids, by the way, which, um, I don't like this anymore. Which, like, is helpful, I think, because you don't really throw tantrums. But also, they can do bad things. <laughs> so that's why I was confused. I thought they just didn't, like, do that. So, she's feeling really good. She's feeling confident. She needs to go to the bathroom. Be like a champion. Daniel. Perfect. Daniel. Daniel. Do you want to say hi to Daniel? Do you want me to have give a shout out to Daniel in our video? <laughs> okay. Um, Daniel, Daniel is a fellow YouTuber and a friend of Mel's. And I think Mel just said Daniel a bunch of times. So I think we're just going to give you a shout out. Hi, Daniel. What's up? This is all from Mel. Um, yeah, he has a YouTube channel too. And hopefully he watches our channel, <laughs> our videos. And if you're here, Daniel, please leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. You know what we should do now and, like, save time? We should bake the cake. Okay. So what we're going to do... I think we're going to do the cake. Because that's just adorable. Okay, so apparently they just all just get up early. So I feel like in the last episode what I said was we need to start making a meal, like a family meal for all of them to eat with us and stuff. But yeah. I think we're going to definitely outgrow this house sooner rather than later. But, um, yeah. Or just, you know, add bedroom. Do you want her to go to bed now? Go back to bed? Because she's a toddler. Okay. 
She needs to go back to bed. Okay, Amanda's going back to bed. She made the cake. Her is making the cake. Oh, we need to clean. That's gross. Why don't we, yeah, why don't we create, why don't we get some, a job for her? Okay. What is our painting level at too, by the way? Our painting level's at seven, so that's good. So yeah, like I said, guys, Mel, how is Daniel? Oh yeah, okay, Daniel, if you're still watching, how are you? Mel wants to say hi. Um, yeah. Oh, she's making herself food. That's good. Why don't we make breakfast for all of them? Yeah. Let's serve breakfast. Let's do a breakfast scramble. Great. Okay, it's her birthday today. Okay, we have to wait till one. But we invited a bunch of people. We invited both our dads. And I think um, Howard, too. Yep, we are going to have one. Don't worry. Okay, it is at one, though. So we have, like five hours in sim time so it won't, it won't be long now uh oh she's not doing anything good make a mess okay hopefully yelling at the kids isn't like making me a bad parent but like she just saw her do it and get disciplined for it and then she did it again achieve level four parenting skill yes am i being a bad parent no being a good parent good thank you exactly okay the birthday party starts soon very very exciting Oh, here the guests come. Oh my god, why did she just kiss him? Oh my god, why did she just kiss him? Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. I know you're feeling a little bit flirty because of this. We're going to disable this because we're not trying to make, get a new man's today. Or are we? Let's enable it because I don't know. I forget who we invited. The party should have started by now. Where is everyone? Let's start. Okay. Some tips for more successful men. So we need to do all of these things. Everyone's gonna come. Look, everyone's coming. So we're gonna flirt with these people. Oh, Avery Owens is really, really stylish right now. Put the candles on the cake. Put the candles on the cake because everyone's gonna start eating the cake. I know they are. Put the candles on the cake. Okay, so we can't get to the freaking birthday cake. Um. This is my talker. It helps me sleep. Good job, Mel. Okay. So we just added the birthday candle, so now no one will eat it. So now, I think I want her to flirt. With Marcus. Friendly. Let's go a little friendly first. Went his outfit and stuff but you know flirty act also i don't know if he's single or not so i'm gonna ask him if he is okay oh my god we know what we need we need a stereo and we need food like actual food oh my god i'm being i'm like not doing well uh-oh um Let's search for a stereo. Because we want it to be like a good, nice thing. So just a cafe wall speaker. Just for now. We can sell it afterwards if we don't want to keep it. Listen to, turn on, um, more choices. Let's listen to kids radio because it's a kid's birthday party. Okay, no, this is not good. Turn on um, hip hop. That's hopefully okay for a kid's birthday party. Oh my god, why is she sad? From hunger. Okay, that's it. She needs to make a huge meal. Um, cook. Um. <laughs> Uh oh, serve lunch. Let's have um let's have um, 
mac and cheese. Oh no, you know what I gotta do? I gotta, um, I'm gonna cook mac and cheese for party size. And then after we cook it, we're gonna have Amanda come. So they're all in her room. I don't know if that's like weird or not. Oh my god, but she's talking to her dad. That's so cute that she's talking to her dad. So we're gonna call everyone to meal. Everyone eat, including the kids, please. Everyone grab something. She's eating because she's sad because of her thing. We don't want her to be sad. It's her birthday. I don't know why he has ramen, to be honest. We need to... Then after everyone eats, we're gonna have her blow out the candles. We need to tell some jokes to people. Um, do, 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 do funny. Tell a joke about penguins. Wow, funny. Tell a funny story. <laughs> okay. I just want to have a successful birthday party, and I really don't want it to be bad for her. So, now she's telling jokes. Uh, um, blah, 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 blah. Funny. Tell a funny story. Just say something funny. Oh my god, we just want to, like, have it, like, be an actual good birthday party. Knock out joke. Main goal is to blow the candles, right? So. Okay. Celebrate. And we're gonna help Amanda blow the candles. Oh my god, she's gonna age up. I wonder what she's gonna look like. Oh my goodness gracious. Candles. Well, I don't know why everyone's not gathering around. It's our first child gonna age up into a kid. It's very exciting. Okay, so she's literally gonna age up. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, okay. Pick an aspiration. Uh oh, okay, I'm gonna ask Siri. Hey Siri, pick a number between one and four. It's three. So she's outgoing and her, oh, uh oh, it's three. So it will be motor, I guess, right? So that's one, two, three. Okay, so these are her traits. She's outgoing. Um, these Sims gain powerful moodlets from friendly socialization, have their social need decay quickly, and gain more negative moodlets when the social need is low. So like that's like nice rambunctious scamp the sim wants to be playful and nimble so i feel like that definitely is just like her oh okay so she randomly has white hair for some reason so we're gonna need to change that but she kept the french braids and oh my god okay so we definitely need to change her a tiny bit just because her hair has kind of gone crazy but um yeah i think she's pretty do you want to just change it right now and go right into create a sim okay we're gonna do the now, I know that we're not supposed to use cheats, but I think the cheats are okay when you are changing her appearance and, like, everyone else does it. Cast a full edit mode. Yeah. So you can set to modify household. So, yeah, we're just going to change a little bit. We just did this with, um with Bridget in last episode I think or the episode before that but we're just gonna do some we're just gonna have it be a time lapse so you'll see but um yeah okay we'll be right back with new and improved Amanda
Okay, so I think we just finished um, Amanda's makeover. So this is what she looks like. Um, we kind of I kind of wanted to keep her like um, rambunctious and like motor skill kind of side. So just I think I dressed her a bit as a tomboy, but also with the like, keeping the color pink and stuff that I think she liked when she was a toddler. Oh. So yeah, now everyone's good. We're gonna keep playing now. I really like that she nerded out. I think she's super super pretty. Yeah. I mean, I took off the makeup that she was wearing just because I think that she's like a little kid. Um, we'll put makeup on her though if she wants it when we're, um, when we're, um, when we're like, when she's a teenager, that's what I mean. So yeah. But I think this was a good party. The main goal we got, we want to have everyone eat the cake. We only have an hour, an hour left. Okay, can you stop doing that? Like, we get it, you're a vampire. Okay, good. So everyone's gonna eat the cake. Be sad because... Bo Boogle... What? Boogie Downer. The other thing doesn't soon cease, the tears might soon release. From dancing to music? Oh, she doesn't want to dance to music then? So let's turn off the music, I guess. So she doesn't feel as sad. Just have her cry. I guess. Maybe she'll just cry it out. Oh my god. Why is she... Let's ask her dad for a parrot. Oh, that's really cute that like that's her dad and like she'll ask him for stuff. I think. Also, how is she doing on the pregnancy side? She's her third trimester is in 24 hours already. Oh my god. Okay. I need this to end. I'm um, obviously it wasn't the best day, but I mean it was a birthday party. We had it. It's fine. I just want everyone to leave at this point because Yeah. Okay, Bridget wants to go to bed. Find some festive balloons. They're in your household inventory. We can put them out. Okay, so they gave us balloons afterwards. We'll just keep them in there. Also, we got this. I don't know where to put it, or if anyone like wants it in the house. Hang on, I think I'm gonna do... Okay, no, actually I'm gonna change around the house once she once everyone leaves so now that everyone's gone we're gonna do a little bit more of the renovating um so yeah i think this is gonna be a another um time lapse so okay see you guys <laughs>so we just did a little bit of renovating we basically just give her a bed move some things around so now Bridget's in the corner so Bridget's going to bed so she can still sleep there so that's perfect because the lamp doesn't bother that oh no okay I need to wake her up or her phone needs still really down Gotta wake Amanda up and tell her to go to bed regularly. I'll hug her a little bit. It's her birthday. You know. 
Really friendly. Become best friends with her. Oh, that's adorable. Oh. Teach valuable lesson. We're just gonna like, you know, just like spend a lot of time with her right now, I think. Because it's about school. Friendly. Parenting. We reached the parenting level seven. Perfect. Um, discipline your child, toddler, or teen five times. Perfect. So we're gonna reach that, and we're gonna be super parent. Just gonna go to bed. Perfect. So then we just gotta clean up. Okay. So while she's doing that, I'm just gonna clean up with the thing. So I think she's in the third trimester. No, the third trimester is in 22 hours. So tomorrow's Sunday. So. She Amanda will go to school, I think, in the next episode or this episode or something. Depending on how it feels. But we're really excited for her to go to school. Bed. The bedroom. I think she needs to go to bed, right? We'll have her sleep tonight. Because she hasn't slept a in a long time. And I feel like, I hope no one thinks that we're cheating. Even though it's our channel. I mean, it's Mel's channel, I mean. Uh-oh, she's got to clean her toilet and stuff. You know, can we call a maid tomorrow and just have the maid do everything? Okay, great. We can call a maid. That's in the rules. Oh, is someone up? Monster? Amanda's going to put something to read and put it on the bed. Okay, the monster on the bed. Okay. Parenting one-on-one. -on -one. I know, she needs to go to bed, doesn't she? She won't go to bed. There we go. Okay. Now she sleeps. Perfect. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's not good. She just saw something she shouldn't have seen. Okay. So, stressful, why is she sad? She's grungy from low hygiene. Why don't we ask Alex for a bath? Is he here? Alex, hello? I don't wanna see if he'll come. Alex, come out, come out with the kids. Are we allowed to have the dads have both the kids? Well, it's what's happening, so. I don't know where she thinks her dad is, but. Where is she going? She's like down the street to go talk to her dad? Oh, that is not okay. Is that him? Nope. Okay. You pick up the child. Okay, so I thought it was gonna be like less stressful, but it's kind of a little bit more stressful. Just this morning, I don't know why. Lots of things are happening. She's feeling flirty because of the decor. So it's like really, really hot today because it's summer, the first day of summer, I think. Yeah. Congratulations on your recent birthday. Calendar time? Perfect. Good job, Mel. Okay, so, um, Bridget's birthday is on Thursday, so she's gonna age up on a kid as a kid then, which I feel like is so crazy to me. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Now, I actually, hmm, and then Amanda is turning into a teenager a week from Friday, and then Amanda, um, she's, Michelle's gonna age up, um, two weeks from Wednesday. In Sims time. Do you want to add a birthday party? For Bridget? <sighs> okay. Want to add a birthday party? We'll do it if you want to. But I don't think we should have the birthday party like... There. Um... Birthday party. We're just gonna schedule one really, really quick. 
everyone that came to this one, basically. We'll just invite everyone. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Caterer. Now we'll also hire a caterer. We have to do it when, because it's, since it's like a day, we have to do it like when Amanda comes home so she can come. Um, we'll have it here. Move. Yeah. It'll be really, really fun. I think, it's, I think we're going to have an outside party probably that day. Move. And then, oh. yeah. She needs a bath. I don't know why she won't give her a bath. Like, give Bridget a bath. Don't do anything else but that right now. Lonely recess. Last recess, no one to play with me. I just climbed around on my own. If that happens again, what should I do? Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to have her ask other kids if she can join in. You know? Like, just make friends. Michelle has advised Amanda affecting our character values. Conflict resolution increases. Emotional control decreases. Okay. Oh my gosh, she's cleaning. Good for her. She's doing awesome. Bridget can now retell the books. Okay, Bridget needs Bridget's skills need to go up. Oh my gosh. Okay. Her communication's the two, movement's the two, potty's at one. So I think we're gonna see she's literally a vampire. We're just gonna ask for potty help. So she can get her potty up. Does she have homework now? Oh, she literally does have homework. Okay, so you need to do your homework for tomorrow. Perfect, because we want her to be a good student. Um, she's a C student right now. We need to bring an A student so she can age up. Because we want to age up faster so that we can, you know, keep having babies and stuff. She's sad because she had an accident using the potty. Amanda Guanaccio completed her homework. Okay, so we're just doing, we're just being really productive. And then she needs to, like, I don't know. She needs to get some food, grab a serving, put Bridget here, and then just, what can she watch? Let's have her watch the, um, let's have her watch Romance, because then maybe she'll be flirty the next time we see her. Oh, they're all chatting. Hug lovingly. Hug your sister. So that's where we're going to end it now. She's getting her, she's getting her fun up. They're having nice bonding sister time. So that is, so that concludes episode eight. It's been an exciting episode and also kind of a little bit stressful. I feel like we've been filming for forever, so this is going to be probably a really long episode too. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below. Don't miss the next video Friday at five.